Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a makeup video. So today's video is an update on my This Is Fantasy project pan. This is uh, hosted by Alicia um, and I believe it's a Fantastic Ladies collaboration. If it is not, then I will just edit this bit out. I will have to check that bit, facts. Um, but I do believe that it is a Fantastic Ladies collaboration, but it was Alicia who put the idea forward for the Fantastic Ladies to take part in. And it is running from October the 21st, and for, uh, no, October in 2021 until October 2022. So uh, it has been going for a while. I haven't been doing updates as often as I probably should have, because of course I took that little bit of a break uh, filming and posting videos in December. So this is really going to be one of the first updates that you get from me. So uh, this is a project pan based around mythical and fantastical creatures. So, um, there are a lot of creatures on the list and there are some products that I haven't touched at all so I'm just not going to mention those um, but I will give you uh, information on the products that do have some uh, usage on them. Uh, so the first one is for the Basilisk and for that one we had to do a dark matte eyeshadow um, and this palette is also for the zombie prompt as well which is uh, an item that is falling apart and this palette is literally oh i dug my finger in it look ah oh. oh that's right under my fingernail <sighs> don't never take me seriously <sighs> okay so we have this palette as you can see, it's seriously falling apart. Um, and we're trying to hit pan in this shade and in this shade. So this brown here and this green here. I'll give you a swatch. So those are the two shades there. Which look like that. Um, and yeah, I am trying to hit pan on both of those. Um, I will say that although the palette has... Although the palette has gone down in weight a little bit more now that I've gouged a little chunk out of it, um, it's gone from 186 20 point. It's gone from 126.23 grams down to 185.998 grams. But I think that's because I kind of used uh, this cream shade to set my eye base. So <sighs> did I actually use those two shades? I might have used the brown a couple of times, um, but I know I definitely haven't used the green. Um, but yeah, I'm still using either of these two cream shades to set my eye uh, eye primer. Um, so it is it is getting used. It's just not in the places that it probably is supposed to be getting used. Uh, so that is the first item. Uh, the next item is a uh chimera product and that is a franken product and i have it frankened into a physician's formula packaging and it is this uh highlighter here and as you can see i've been kind of working on this quarter here that is all we're wanting to use up for this project it's just this quarter and this used to be level along here so you can see that there's some definite definite like moving back of the product it's also getting thinner as well you can see that this side is definitely getting thinner than this side and this has gone from 55.02 grams to 54.76 grams so that is good uh, the next item is a single eyeshadow for the uh, cyclops product um, and this one is just a MAC single in the shade Dust Off. Again, I will give you a switch. So it's a very shiny kind of colour. Um, basically, I've been using this as an inner corner highlight. I have it on uh, today. Um, so it's, it's not much of a dip anywhere, particularly. Um, so I suppose this will be slow and steady kind of wins the race. 
Oh, that went from 12.76 to 12.74. The next item I use daily, almost, and that is the uh, Body Shop Elderflower Unperfumed Cooling Eye Gel. So it's just a clear gel, um, and you can kind of see it at the sides there. Um, so this has gone from 30.96 grams to 28.75 grams. So that's going to be slow and steady as well because I use it every night and every morning um so yeah that's gonna slowly go down uh the next item is my uh collection last imperfection concealer i am wearing it underneath my eyes today um i really like this concealer um it is one of those that um yeah i think it's it's i, I can't see any I don't know if this is opaque packaging or whether oh no 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 i'm starting to see a few windows like i can start to see when i'm like scraping the sides um but this has gone from uh 12.46 to 12.26 grams so 0.2 of a gram gone down but i don't use much because with my aging skin the less layers I have, the better. And so, especially under my eyes where I get some wrinkles. Um, so I only put a very thin amount of this on um, whenever I do my makeup because if I cake this on, it's going to look cakey. Okay, the next item is my Rare Gold Perfume from Avon, which looks like this. Um, when we started, I think we were up there and now we're down to here. I do have it on today. I really like the smell. Um, it does look a bit weird, that colour. I mean, surely they could have changed the colour. I'm not sure if I like perfumes this colour. Um, but this has gone from 154.82 grams to uh, 148.27 grams. Do you know what I need? I need one of those book holders that holds my thing up like that so I don't have to look down all the time. Um, okay, the next item is my collection Soft Glow Blusher in the shade Trouble. I do have it on today. I really like this shade actually. It kind of reminds me of the Rocketeer blush from uh, Benefit um so yeah i like to swatch them together side by side uh so it is that kind of a blush um i do really really like it my goal on this is not to use it up or hit pan because that would just be crazy um uh but 20 uses and i have currently used it four times um including today uh and that has took it from 18.24 grams to 18.12 grams so yeah it's it's going down it's what we like to hear uh the next item is my gunmetal gray um shade uh number seven stay perfect shade and define pencil i absolutely love this um it looks like that um i still have quite a bit of this um, I'm going to have to really start focusing in on this very, very soon because otherwise it's just never going to go. But the problem that I have is that, um, I'm not sure if I can use it as like a, like a eyeshadow base, um, because I don't know how sticky this would be to hold on to anything over the top of it. But this is quite a vibrant grey, as you can see, um, so it's quite a, a unique look um but yeah this has gone from 12.55 grams to 12.51 grams so not much use but any is better than nothing okay the next item i've had quite a few uses out of this and i think i might have forgotten to note down some of those uses because i know i have used this a lot in conjunction with my pan that palette from 2021 um, especially when I started on the green shades 
because this is my e.l.f. jalapeno eyeshadow palette um, and as you can see we've got some usage in all four shades um definite like starting to get a dip a definite dip in this green shade um which is great um this one we have 10 use goal and i've already hit half of that so i've used this five times as i say i think i might have used this more than that um and i've just forgotten to note it down in my pad but that's my fault so i'm gonna take that um and just remember to try and mark it every time i use it in the future but five times i'm really happy with that um we're halfway there so this has gone from 20.43 grams to 20.37 so although i have used it five times it hasn't gone down much but you can definitely see some usage uh on the two matte shades already so I'm very happy with that the next item is the revolution skin kiss bronzer only it isn't the skin kiss bronzer at all um this is a franken product um so something that i have uh repressed or depotted so this is what it's looking like at the moment i am wearing this bronzer today um it's quite a strong bronzer for me um but uh yeah i'm hoping to um carry on working on it this year uh, this has gone from 88.42 grams to 87.94 grams so uh, the next item is finished um, but not because I finished it but because it broke um, it broke so as you can see inside there is the brush and um well yes it, it I can't like i can't it broke um so this was the brow coat uh clear brow gel not so clear anymore because of all that gunk in there from doing my brows i think the thing is is that you're not supposed to put any product into your brows when using a clear brow gel um maybe that was the problem but uh yeah there was still quite a bit of product left in there not much i think it was down to about here but it's out of the project it's done it's dusted because it broke it broke it's gone so uh that is the troll uh prompt finished i don't care that it's broken i'm not going to replace it with anything it's a brow gel out of my collection i don't care if it if it breaks i'm i'm just not going to replace it um that's that's the thing um the next item is my painterly paint pot from mac um i can understand why people love this little pot um as you can see we've got a bit of a dip going the goal is to hit pan in this um and we do have a very good dip already started i do have this on as an eye base under this eye look today um it fits my skin perfectly it's like the perfect shade for me um so this has gone from 56.10 grams to 55.85 grams so that is good i like it i like that a lot um would i say that that painterly paint pot is better than the maybelline color tattoos no i think that the maybelline color tattoos are a little bit thicker and therefore are a little bit stickier when it comes to being an eyeshadow base so i actually prefer the maybelline color tattoos i want to say um but i will continue to use the maybelline uh, the painterly paint pot until it's finished and then i probably won't repurchase it i'd probably turn to maybelline color tattoo um in a similar shade because yeah when i went to apply it today it was just going on so thin and i thought this is just it's not going to hold on to anything um but we'll see by the end of the day if my eye makeup is rubbing off i know that this is not a great base for my eyeshadows um anyway moving on um the next thing we have i do have this on my lips today not that you can see it but it was there 
it was there. Um, I put it over a liquid lipstick, which then made the liquid lipstick move slightly when really the liquid lipstick I used was a uh, NYX lip lingerie uh, in exotic. Um, but then I put this over the top of it after it dried and it made it more emollient, is that the word? Like, I can rub my lips together now and they're not sticking to each other. Um, so I actually like what this did um, on top of the um, exotic Nick lip, lip lingerie. Um, but yeah, um, it is literally just a purpley based, purpley blue based lip gloss. I used it on its own for a few times um, and yeah. I think we're already down to here. I'm not sure. Can you see that? Um, I'm not sure. I can't really see you very well. But um, I have used it a couple of times. This has gone from 27.73 to 27.53. And as I say, I did have it on on this lipstick today. But it's lip gloss. It's, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Um, <laughs> I forgot a product. I forgot a product and it's a very important product because it was the mermaid product, of course. Um, so this is the uh, Be A Mermaid and Make Waves palette from Tarte. I have this on my eyes today. Uh, the goal of this is to use this 10 times and today was that first time. <laughs> I used it once. Um, let's have a look at you. Let's open you up. You know that uh, vanilla smell is starting to go fainter. Um, it's very shiny, uh, but I currently have this all over my lids and then this on the outer corner. And then I have some of this deep red to darken up the crease. And I put this shade here um, in my crease to like blend it out. So that's what I have on my eyes. Um, this one, this one here, is that blue-brown sort of shade, um, and people go nuts for it, but I don't know, I don't know if I, I like it on my eyes, um, maybe it's just different, maybe that's what it is. I'm so used to seeing my eyes with green or purple makeup that this is just, this is just different, um. But yeah, um, one use and so nine more to go. Um, and then the last item, uh, no, that was it because I've already shown you the chocolate peaches palette, um, which was for the zombie item. So that was it. That was my update for This Is Fantasy. I, I sucked at the end of last year wearing makeup because of my accident. Um, I've got a ruptured Achilles tendon. Um, which means that, um, luckily, <laughs> I can bear weight on it, but it's in a boot and I have to use crutches. Um, so, yeah, I didn't wear much makeup. However, I'm back. I'm still in the boot, but I'm in the last half of my time in the boot. So I'm being more, um, more active, uh, being more mobile. I'm getting up. I'm doing my makeup. I'm doing stuff about the house and stuff um so yeah uh hopefully my project pans this year i'm gonna do much better with because i'm really gonna focus in on using my makeup this year and um yeah start using these products much more frequently um we're trying to wear makeup more frequently throughout the week as well so yeah that was my update it's not a great update for this like first update I suppose for me personally because of my little hiatus but I, I, I everything is going down um so like it's all going in the right direction um so yeah uh, that is my update I hope you enjoyed it if you did please like comment and subscribe as I always say and I will see you in my next video bye